What you got for me today, Goody Will? What you got for me today? Hey guys, let's give it up for Boss Man Boston. He did an awesome job with his What you got for me today, Goody Will? What you got for me today? <laughs> I love it, man. His dad sent me that video. It totally rocks. Boston, you rock. You 80s toys rock. You got me all jazzed up for this episode. Now on with the show. My name is Burf and this is my turf. I'm straight out of the thrift store. Hey, hey, what's up? It's your boy Burf. It's Memorial Day, baby. And I'm at Big Texas Thrift. There's actually a huge Memorial Day sale going on right now. You can see there's quite a few cars in the parking lot already. They must have opened at eight, it's nine. So who knows what's left on the shelves. They might've been picked over. Of course, I might be the first toy hunter here for the day, you never know. But we're gonna keep our fingers crossed and we're gonna pray, 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 pray. <laughs> please, please let there be toys. We're gonna pray that the vintage Thrift store gods are good to me today. All right, let's see, what do we got? We got a boom box. That's kind of neat. I like the colors on it. Oh, cool, a kingdom builder. One of my subscribers, Aaron Wolf, just sent me an email, said, bro, I'm looking for kingdom builders. Let's see if I can get his head to pop out. But anyway, Aaron, I got you one. Let me see if I can get his head to work. Aha, yes. We got it, my man. We got him. All right, I'm going to pick this up for you. All right. Oh, what's this? Bubble bath SpongeBob. Oh, look at this dude. That's a big old robot. This is a Fisher Price something or another. Play family house. Pretty dirty in there. Oh, look at this big old fist here. This big gauntlet. All right, well, let's check these bags and see if we can find anything in here. Oh, there's a Bart Simpson. Oh, cool. Bag of Mickey D's toys. Always Mickey D's toys in these bags. This tiger right here, I have this, but Nicole did a custom of it for me of Battle Cat. Got some rescue heroes. I got a pocket Simon. Oh, it says 1980 on the back of it. Is that actually from 1980? If it is, I'm gonna get it. Yeah, it sure is. It's a pocket Simon from 1980. Yeah, I'm gonna grab that. Oh, look at this boat. I like the color of it. Dino Valley. Well, Aaron, here's another Kingdom Builders figure, but he's missing his leg, so I'm gonna pass on this one, bro. I can't remember if I have an American Tail. I know I have an American Tail, Five Goes West, but I'm not sure about this one, so I'm gonna grab this. And then also we got uh, Pippi Longstocking. Hmm. All right, I think I'm gonna grab that too. All right. I got it, and I saved 50%. I got it all for $6.46. Let's jump in the car and do a little show and tell. Okay, first up, I'm gonna show you the VHS I got. So I did get an American Tell. I really need to make a list. I had some different subscribers, a couple of them actually, I can't remember who you guys are, so I apologize for not giving you credit for this, but they were like, Burf, you should make a list like in your phone, like in your notes. And anytime you get a new VHS, just add it to it. And then if you're ever questioning whether you already have one, you can just refer to the list. It's a great idea. Just need to do it. So, uh, but I got uh, Five O an American Tail. I also picked up this Pippi Longstocking, which uh, here's Pippi on the pirate ship. I always liked Pippi Longstocking as a kid, except I didn't watch the cartoon. I actually watched uh, the real, like, the real people version of it. So they had a, a few different like short movies or something like that of Pippi. So I used to watch those when I was a kid. So I got this. I also got Charlton Heston in Call of the Wild. So I like the purple color of the cover here. So I got this and I also got this Kingdom Builders figure for Aaron Wolf and uh, 
Aaron said he had some things that we could trade. So he's like, if you'll keep an eye out for the kingdom builders, I got some stuff I can trade you. So Aaron, I'll be hitting you up and seeing what you got, my man. So anyway, uh, I got a couple more things. I got this 1980 Milton Bradley Pocket Simon. I just hope it works. I have to take it home and put some batteries in it. And uh, I was kind of like pressing down on these things here and they don't really press in very well. I guess they kind of do, but not not really well. <laughs> so <laughs> I don't know if it works or not. But anyway, to make a cool little display piece if it doesn't. And last but certainly not least, I got a bag of plush. And uh, one of the things that was in this bag was this uh, Applejack, My Little Pony Thai Beanie Baby. I'll have to look her up, see if maybe she's worth a little money. Sometimes uh, Beanie Babies can still be worth a little something if you get the right one. So I got this, and this guy was in there as well. I have no idea how to look him up to, but I don't think he's going to be worth a whole lot. I don't know. He could be. I don't know anything about plush, so he could be. And the whole reason I got the bag in the first place was for Bart Simpson. So the bag was originally, I think, uh, $4, $3.98 or something. So I got it for $2 today. But yeah, I got the, the little Bart plush, which was the whole reason I gra grabbed the bag. So maybe, maybe I can sell Applejack and make a little money back on it. Well, we did manage to score some vintage 1980s with the Simon pocket game. But uh, let's see if we can score some 70s, 80s, or 90s toys. Off to the goodie wheel we go to see what kind of goodies they got. All right. It's the goodie wheel, baby. What you got for me today, goodie wheel? What you got for me today? <laughs> One thing you don't have is a Memorial Day sale. This place never has sales which is actually kind of a good thing because I, to be honest with you, I don't like the sales. I like the deals, I don't like the lines. Fortunately, over there at Texas Thrift, the line wasn't too long. So let's see what we can find in here. All right, are we gonna get busted or are we gonna find something? That's kind of cool, but I don't want it. How about over here in the plush? Yeah, we're not gonna find nothing. No freaking way. Are you kidding me? Are you freaking kidding me? Guys, this is the Ewok village. This is the Ewok village. Holy cow, I just found the Ewok village. He's on that jazz, man. He's on that jazz. He's on that jazz, man. He's on that jazz. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. That's so awesome. I actually have the wicket that goes to this at the house. I mean, it's a little, it's a little beat, but it just needs a little tender love and care. Guys, there's something in here. You hear that rattling? something in there i don't know if it could be figures that would be even cooler guys there's an ewok in there i don't know if you can see that i know it's a little blurry but there is an ewok in there there might even be two ewoks in there okay there's probably there's at least two in here maybe three and uh i can't get them out so i'm gonna have to take this home and mess with it so we will continue the show and tell of this back at the bunker, but oh my God, guys, this is freaking insane. This is awesome. This is so cool to find something like this. <laughs> yes. Oh, guys, I'm so jazzed up right now. This thing is awesome. I can't believe there's actually figures inside of it. So when we get back to the bunker, I'll do my best to like, so the elevator door is not going up and down. So, and they're kind of behind that elevator. So, and I can't get my fingers back in there to grab them. So I'm gonna have to kind of jimmy it open. But man, it's gonna need a little cleanup. So I'll clean it up too. And then we'll do a full on show and tell with the figures back at the bunker. In the meantime, let's go hit up old Thrifty Pants. Just right across the way. See what kind of goodies they got. Oh, right. 
right. Now, one thing we gotta keep in mind is that Thrift Giant here is also having a 50% off sale. So those lines could be out of control. They usually are at Thrift Giant. But let's see what they got. Yeah, this place is a madhouse. Holy cow. Yeah, we will not be buying anything in here today. I ain't waiting in that line. But let's see if there's anything in here that we can find. Just a look. Yeah, shelves are pretty wiped clean. I've got like three of these at the house. Oh, that's cool. It's like a bank. Oh look, he's got his tooth chipped. I guess maybe he's supposed to be holding like a hockey stick or something. Wow. Nuts in there, man. Like trying to just navigate through everybody. People, and that's the thing too. When it gets real crowded like that, people don't give a fuck. So they'll just like park their carts like right in the middle of the aisle. And then you come trying to walk through and uh, cause you'll have like two carts on them. You know, one in the left lane and one in the right lane, right in the middle of the aisle. And then you try to cut through it and they just stand there and they look at you and you're like, excuse me, excuse me. A lot of that going on in there, excuse me. And uh, sometimes it's like, excuse me, because like you've already said, excuse me twice and they don't listen to you. People, man, people. <laughs> All right, let's go hit up St. Vinnie de Paul. All right, well, we're here. I guess maybe they don't open till 10 a.m. because uh, there is a line that has formed behind me and uh, it'll be 10 a.m. in about five minutes. So let's see if we can get us some goodies. They must be having a sale. Well, let's see what we can get our hands into today. They don't really look like they have anything new out from the last time I was here, just earlier this week. What are these? Look like some NASCAR cards. It's just NASCAR. Oh, we got a Pennywise hanging out over here in the glasswares. Oh, we got this guy, this Funko. Solar system planetarium model. Well, it doesn't look like we have any trapper keepers in here either. All right, busted at St. Vinnie de Ball. All right, I'm trying to think, where can we go next? I haven't been to Thrift World in a long time. Let's go check that place out. All right, kids. This parking lot is packed. I mean, it is filled to the brim so there's probably a lot of people in here but we'll check it out and see what it's like and if the line's long it's gonna have to be something truly epic for me to stand in it but let's keep our fingers crossed and just say a little extra prayer fingers crossed and pray 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 that the vintage thrift world gods are good to me today Open there. What is it? Damage control. Never heard of it. Looks like they got a Wheel of Fortune game, some other games. All right, let's go check the shelves. Oh, looks like we got a PS3, but they want 150 for it. Holy cow, guys! That's the line. It goes from there all the way up there. Damn. All right, we're definitely not gonna walk out of here with anything today, but we'll still take a look. Oh, I like that little Santa wind-up.
Oh, this uh, Splash Mountain thing was kind of cool. What is that, like a bank or something? Yeah. Oh, look at that uh, Darth Vader controller. It's for a game. I guess you can just plug it into your TV and play. Yeah, nine bucks for that. All right, well, I just came across this vintage Mighty Casey train set. I had to bust it open to take a look and see if it's all there. And it looks like it's all there. I just don't know how much it's worth. I gotta look it up. Well, we got busted at Thrift World. The Mighty Casey train set. I tried looking it up. I saw where somebody had sold it for like $12, but it was missing the locomotive. So I'm guessing maybe with the locomotive, $25, $30 set maybe. They wanted $9 for it. I think I could have got it half off today, but there was no way I was waiting in that line, man. That line was insane. So, all right, guys, we'll probably hit up one or two more thrift stores. I'm not exactly sure where we're going to go, but wherever I end up, I will see you there. All right, gang. So here's where we are. We're at uh, Once Upon a Child. So if you guys remember my Instagram friend, Nash, the one I did the big trade with uh, for all the uh, Mighty Max stuff. Well, you know, I still am making good on the rest of uh, that trade. So you know, it was a little imbalanced. So he gave me a lot more value than what I gave him. So I'm been on the lookout for like Jurassic Park, Jurassic World stuff. And when I was in here the other day, he said, he sent me a message, Burf, I need the dinos in that bag. So we're going to check and see if they're here. That was... That was two days ago I was here, so I don't even know if they're still here, but let's see if we can find them. All right. I don't think these were it. like it would go to Godzilla. Yeah, I think it might be a Godzilla tail. All right, I picked him up. I gotta tell you, I was looking at them and I was like, these don't look like Jurassic Park, Jurassic World stuff to me. But then like, I saw where they had like some of the, like the little insignia on the bottom of their foot. And uh, initially I only saw it on the one. I was like, oh, it must be just this one. But I think there's a couple more. So let's do a little show and tell. All right, check this out. So two of them are Jurassic Park, Jurassic World, whatever. So this guy right here, which he is really, really cool. I love these horns that are coming out the side of his uh, his hide there. And then uh, we got this guy back here as well. So he's also Jurassic. Now these other guys are not, so I'm actually gonna keep these. So Nash, I know you're really just interested in the Jurassic stuff, but, and I don't know, maybe you want these dudes, but I'm keeping these. <laughs> you can have those, I'm keeping these. This carcass is badass, man, I freaking love it. And uh, this guy right here, so we got a couple of T-Rexes. But yeah, I hate Nash. I'm going to add this to the collection of stuff. I got a big box of stuff I'm sending you now. I'll try to get it out here soon. Uh, again, I'm just kind of, you know, waiting to see what I find in thrift stores and stuff before I ship it off because I don't want to have to pay shipping multiple times. So let's just get it all in one haul, you know. But yeah, those guys are really cool. All right, I think we've hit up enough thrift stores for the day. Now it's time to head back to the bunker and see if we can get those Ewoks out of the Ewok treehouse, out of the Ewok village. Uh, 
I think the one, there's like a little, I think I don't know if it's like Princess Nisa maybe, or just a baby Ewok, but I think that one that we saw in the store was like the little baby Ewok. I think there were four figures that came with that set initially, from what I can tell. Um, and I think we might have two of the, at least two of the figures in there, possibly a third one. So let's head back to the bunker and let's get to digging. All right, gang. So I'm here in the kitchen cleaning this thing up, use some Dawn dish detergent with the sponge. I had to pop this off because I was trying to trying to dig around through uh, through here and couldn't get them out. So I figured I'd take this off. And when I did, some things fell out here. So we've got this little bird and then we've got a vintage Polly Pocket in there. I'm pretty sure that's Polly Pocket, but how cool was that? And then whatever these things are. I don't know what that's supposed to be, but I thought we'd, uh, you know, see if there's anything. Oh, oh, there it is. Ah, uh, there's the Ewok. Let me see if I can get it. I got an Ewok. Yes. My fingers are too fat. <laughs> Come here, you little bugger. Oh. oh, look at that. Oh, how cute. This little Ewok. What's he holding? It's got like a little ball in his hand or something. Well, that is cool that we at least got one of them. I was kind of hoping these would also be Ewoks. And I'll have to make sure that nothing is like lodged in there. But uh, this... Uh, this elevator doesn't work. So while I've got the bottom off, I'm gonna see if I can get this thing fixed. I think it's like off track. Oh, it's going, okay. All right, so I kind of got it semi-fixed. I can get it to go up. Mm, which is fun. Yeah, which is good, but it doesn't come back oh, down. Is it supposed to go up, up in here? Yeah, it goes up to right, mm. just up to this next level. But I can't get it to go down, I gotta like, Oh, it doesn't crank down. I gotta like kind of push it back down. Yeah, I don't know if it maybe it needs maybe it needs a little grease. Of course, it's not sitting real level there at the bottom either. Yeah, they just kind of jump off. Well, yeah, but it's not supposed to be like that. Whee! <laughs> All that was, right. That was them jumping off. All having right. a good day. Close the door. There we go. Oh, here he comes. Here he comes. Yay. Next level shiz. <laughs> yeah, it's not falling back down. Okay, the way come it back should. down. He's not coming back down. Okay. I'm push him down with my hand. All right, he's stuck in the elevator. <laughs> That concludes today's episode. I hope you enjoyed watching this content as much as I enjoyed making it for you. If you did, do me a favor, smash that like button. That helps me out. It does help my channel grow. And if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button because I got a lot more great content coming your way. And tons of videos you can start binge watching right now, starting with this next video. I know you're going to love it. Bye.